He is waiting impatiently outside your house, checking the watch every few minutes. He can't believe he is finally going to spend some time alone with you after so long. As he sees you coming out of the house, he sat his step a bit. You look gorgeous, just as he remembers. And his mind immediately goes back to the moment you were pressed against the wall in your room. He can't help but smile, his eyes ranging over your body appreciatively. He strides towards you, he sends anything to touch you to pull you close to him. But he knows he has to be patient and behave in front of your family. You look beautiful. You are ready to go. Yes. He wants you to get into the car. His eyes roaming over your body, taking in every detail. It's taking all his self-control not to reach and touch him, to pull you into his arm and kiss you silently. But he knows he has to wait. The night is just starting and there will be a plenty of time for that later. Jacob start the car and drive. Then his car car followed him. But he can feel your presence next to him. The scent of your perfume filling the car. Making it hard for him to concentrate on anything other than you. The journey to the ceremony seems to go by in a blur. The silence in the car is defining, filled with the tension and anticipation of what to come. The good glance over at you from time to time and his eyes limping on your profile. On your lips and his mind replaces the memory of kissing you. You glance at him and notice Kalava on his face. You smile. Um, how sad it is. He glances at you. His eyes soften as he hears your gentle voice. He is so used to being around people who are sharp and loud. That the sound of your soft gentle tone is like a balm for his soul. My mom is doing better. The treatment of taking a toll on her, but she is fighting. She is stronger than anyone I know. She knows.
एहसास है जागीर तेरी तेरा खजाना ये दुश्मनी है ये प्यास है क्यों रोकना अब ये कारवा जाए वही तू 